Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And listen up, we got a huge, major, game-changing shooting update. Okay, you're gonna want to watch this full video. Okay, communities also hating NBA 2K25. They are flaming it. We're gonna get into everything. Before we get into that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new and you want to be up to date with uh 2K25 sauce and hit that damn like button. Help Young Swan grow. Firstly, 2K Toots did an extensive video. Okay. This is kind of crazy. He's saying no matter where you shoot, now it's the same timing. Y'all let me know if y'all noticed this. Okay, he's saying this was a major change and that it was not like this before, that he had to reprogram his machine that he plugs up into his PlayStation every time before patch. Like every different place, he said he would have to reprogram it to get correct shots, but now he doesn't have to do that because now he could shoot everywhere. This could just be an offline thing. Now, I don't know, man. I was playing. I didn't really, it still felt like my middies were different. It kind of felt like the limitless was different. I don't, I don't know, man. I remember in previous Previous years they uh they said this and I was like there's no way bro like when I shoot limitless compared to somewhere else it, it just it feels different dog I don't know y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. look he did another extensive test okay and I went and tested this myself okay. he's basically saying that normal risk is better than high risk overall y'all test it out y'all let me know how y'all feel about it I think he was saying like I think he was saying like if you shoot in 70s or 80s or whatever stay on high risk which like nobody does it was some uh high number like that or i think he was saying 65 plus I, I don't i don't remember but he was saying if you if you don't go normal and that's basically 2k25 with mike wayne playing guys you get better percents at the normal now look i went and shot on normal bro i was shooting greens i, I didn't make no whites but uh it felt normal i was making them huh? felt like i could still you know see he's saying i, I presume you shoot 61 plus high risk zero percent to this normal risk that's kind of crazy that can help you more with your missed time shots now he tested out low risk he's saying basically if you shoot zero between 21 percent do low risk like if you some foreigner or something i don't know man y'all let me know if any of y'all use a uh, low risk or if you're just lagging all the time look 2k lab did a dead eye badge test okay extensive and now look he's saying wide open okay so it's still better to shoot wide open that's what they say that's what everyone you know that's what they always say but it's seeming like man when i hope you can have you make it a little better but as you see mike wang plays god so for all you weirdo losers who said i was just lying making stuff up and i, I don't know what i'm talking about you can see it doesn't say a hundred percent right so he's controlling your shooting even if you time it correct okay look with legend mm, so it get a little peaky probably gonna see more exact numbers but the purple the gold so gold probably looking like him at the silver worthless and okay, with bronze they saw a 12 percent boost silver 14 percent so don't shoot for this on silk gold 22 percent dead eye 32 percent i don't bro i'm not gonna hold you dog and i played a game y'all let me know if y'all are the same i've played on these bills with all these incredible shooting badges right <laughs> does it bro i literally just played with a 2k league player okay it wasn't his normal position to play guard he has a 99 three he's missing every shot at the wreck bro like bro i'm telling you and like he like he won championships dog come on bro like there's something going on when you got little wingspan then when i switch to a build with bigger wingspan and less shooting i could shoot way easy how it's not just a visual cue thing man i'm telling you bro like there there's some funky stuff going on i don't like it mike wayne i will have the last laugh my boy everything you've put me through you have ruined this game that i love you need to quit it's truly a joke it's an abomination man like, it's just sad damn and then legend it's only 35 man. so 2k toots they did a video on dead eye no badge you're getting them crazy tights with badge you're getting them light pressures okay now this NPC, okay, this 2K dev that won't turn on a stream and show his gameplay, he says to those getting work defensively against drop steps, you need interior D size and strength. Obvious, we know this, buddy. Why don't you listen to your community and see what's going on? He has to see it. He doesn't care because he wants post scores to dominate the game. They clown. Sim Nation, all these real wannabe realistic players, they have ruined 2K on your mother's soul. They have ruined 2K. Okay. And he says, and a left stick hint before the move goes along anticipate the drop step by moving your left stick towards the direction it would have now he's saying that doesn't work laughing my ass. false how can you say this you don't play your game bro how about you turn on your game go play once do it live okay anyone can talk 
You feel me? People be cr people was crying about all the shooting. Say it now, anyone can make every shot. You go to their stream, they're missing all these shots. <laughs> Everyone on their team's missing all these shots, bro. All the casuals missing every shot you go play. People are just lying, bro. Like, what's wrong with people, man? Look, he was about, he pulled it off. Go live right now and play a 1v1 against a post score. You see, that's how you check people, guys. Anyone can talk. That's what Sim Nation does. They talk. These little fake realistic players, they talk, but they can't prove it, right? They ain't got the stats. They can't prove it in no way. This guy, he wants post scores to dominate the game. Post scoring takes skill in real life, not on the game. Why? Because you're stationary and it's a contested shot. To get open in video games, that requires the skill and then to time that shot. That is what creates the biggest skill gap. You're just sitting there abusing game mechanics without having to outwit the other person, you are cheesy, right? If that's your play style, you're cheesy. You're abusing mechanics that don't take skill. You see, but pe people don't understand that. It takes skill in real life, not on the game. I, 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 I just explained to you a simple mechanic. You know, when you play games and stuff, you understand things that take more skill. Like imagine you're playing a fighting game and to weave and do all this and time this and that, but then you have a character that just runs through you and just breaks everything and just abuses uses you know it's not doesn't take as much skill and it ruins the gameplay so badge plug comp player creator he showed that he knows what he's talking about what modes you consistently stopping drop steps look everybody's flaming him bro he sticks laughs okay he like um one of the 2k legends he plays 1v1s all the time he be dominating people he makes a post score he's laughing that means this is untrue okay now look y'all have to understand there are people that are good at the game horrible lost don't know what they talk about the players that can prove what they talking about those are the guys you gotta you know see what's going on he knows this is not true are you gonna believe some 41% or some guy who plays the best cheesers in the game and be destroyed? It just don't make sense. And look, this guy tweeted this to me, basically showing that this guy rage quit. And I've been hearing this since the game came out, that when people quit, you don't get any progression. Let me know when y'all think 2K gonna fix that. If you guess it, you get a you get you get a thousand dollars. Now look, Nephew Demi tweeted out, still trying to figure out why people care about records resetting every season. Because they lied and it was a marketing selling point, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how all video games should be. It's not a, we don't, we don't care about participation, trophy stuff in video games. Only people who do, the reason video games are getting ruined. Then he says, we have more glaring issue I would like to see addressed. But guess what? Let me flip your own playbook on y'all, y'all defenders. Aren't there several different teams for several different problems? Gameplay team handles gameplay, and then the other team would be handling this, right? <laughs> <laughs> he thought he had one. Now look, you can see he's trying to do manipulation. For some reason, he doesn't want records in the game. He's probably getting beat down. I don't know, okay? He probably don't want to be judged. I don't know. He's Uncle Demi. He could get some comp sweats. I don't know. Anyone that y'all see supporting records resetting are bad for gaming. Their whole ideology, how they want the gameplay to, to be is horrible. They need to go play story mode games instead of playing multiplayer games, guys. It's disgusting. Records don't matter. People barely care about records, but you should still have them in the game. Who cares about people's excuses for having a bad record? Go team up with other people with bad records me personally i've never played with a good random and i've played with a lot of randoms live okay that i've actually linked up with not just random squad or nothing i linked up with them and they were all horrible. all the 40s win percents 30s ones who say they never have a team or someone else plays on their account the 50s the 60s 70s horrible every time unless they play stage almost unbearably that they don't know nothing they can't look and you you listen to it this is probably you but it's okay it's a video game guys okay it does not matter <laughs> so don't take offense my boy it once you realize issues about yourself, you can improve upon it or, you know, but their rotations, how to pinch, they don't know when to go for steals, when to shoot, when not to shoot. Everything is horrible. Even high win percent players, they're horrible too, but they know more things than that negative win percent player. And if you can't find a team, that means you suck or you're not too good. That's what it means. If you have to go play with randoms, that means you're not good. Usually when you start your random journey, you guys been playing for over a decade or half of that or whatever. You play, say you see someone good on your team or the other team, link up. If that's never happening and then it just, you figure out their friends and that, da, 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 
that and it just does it's not constantly happening to where you then have clicks that means you're not good no one's messaging you or you're not messaging others when you see someone cold in the game that means that you're not too good and that's okay but all this i play with random stuff play with randoms for a reason right you're not like me i enjoy playing with randoms because i like roasting it's a funny experience a lot of y'all y'all can't stand playing with randoms and you still playing with randoms that's just the truth though those guys that can get teams to get higher win percents they're overall better and it's just facts your record don't matter if you're a stage overall because they're playing high, higher levels of competition. And most of them people who be having them mid records, dog, they really be having teams and they use that. They be playing with randoms excuse. I'm telling you, dog, every time. Eventually in one of these 2Ks, if you're not finding the click, then you're not really like that, bro. You gotta stop with the excuses. These people want records to reset so they can talk all that trash and nothing could be validated because they're not gonna play it. They wanna be on the same level as you with no proof, right? But they won't play you for bread. That That's how people want the game. They want their opinions, their thoughts to be on the same level as yours when you clearly have completely different stats and skill level. They don't want that to be shown. That's why they're in support of records resetting. You think it's harder for you to get teammates? Go find those teammates with those records. They're the same as you, right? They should be on the same level, right? Y'all are so cold, but you're always forced to play with randoms. Go find those guys, right? Anywho, Badge responded to this. He said, the problem is they lie. Facts. Principle. Facts. Or the fact that they lied. Facts. Why do y'all want to justify issues in the game so bad? It's annoying. Exactly. All those people. I'm telling you, they ruined this game that you love, dog. I'm telling you, bro. But y'all, y'all keep letting it. Y'all keep supporting people, you know, double twisting the game. It's crazy. And y'all wonder why, like, you know, things can't change. A lot of better records. Stop defending the company. They lie. Record resetting is not good for casuals. This is a lie because it feels like you play for nothing, even for casuals. Or they can have seasonal records. Now, look, imagine if this was the part. Wouldn't that be a dope part? Like you see how you see how the court's glossy. Why did why did they give us these rise or elite parts? This would be a great part. I don't know who be controlling uh 2K, but you guys all need to be fired, bro. This is just now that park y'all just saw or the event it got canceled. You know they did double rep wreck. You know they put out a statement. Look, bring him back with no meter only, please. Events all year will only be won by cheaters. This is true, guys. For some reason, before the game came out, everyone said, take meters out of competitive modes, keep it in casual mode. Don't know why that was the narrative instead of just take it out the game. You guys didn't know, having meter on is one of the easiest attainable ways to cheat and have a machine plugged up to your system. So instead of those cheaters cheating versus comp people, they're gonna be cheating versus you in the park, in the rec. Isn't that crazy? You're going to put the cheaters in the field where the majority of the player base is? That does not make any sense. It should just be taken out the game. Meter does not help anybody. It's not worth people cheating. Just take meters out the game. Shooting meters, okay? It, it's a it's a great sacrifice. If you guys play versus someone who has a cheating, you know, you would then understand. Like, yeah, yeah, take it out. Yeah, you feel me? But for events, they definitely got to uh, take the meter out. But who knows if they'll ever do it? Do y'all think they'll do it? Imagine having a full year where people pay a hundred a build and for every event to win some of the best rewards, they're won by cheaters because you didn't take the shot meter out. It's kind of crazy. Now look, this is Black Cobra's new jumper. Y'all test it out. Y'all let me know if it's cash or if it's too slow. I don't know, man. They be saying the visual cue, man, that don't help it uh, speed up your jump shot. But this is his jumper, guys. Y'all try this out. Y'all let me know if it's green. Or maybe if it's just green wide open. Y'all let me know if it's green versus players, man. My boy try to be different. Y'all click on the video on the screen if you want to shoot 85% three, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.